Serenoa, making a valiant stand in defense of the Rosellan village, slays Silvio Tellior. Word of their disobedience reaches the Holy One, who sends an army to conquer the heretics. With the enemy only a day's march from their doorstep, House Wolfort and the Roselle scramble to mount one last stand. Time is of the essence. So that's the size of it. House Wolfort has gone to such great lengths for us. It was our decision and ours alone. Your people brought nothing upon us. It is as Saranoa says. We are happy to do all that we can to protect you. Forgive me, Lady Frederica, but your mother was Lady Orlea, was she not? You came to our rescue just as she did. I cannot help but feel it was fated to be so. You knew my mother? Where did you hear of this, Jerome? I've told you not a whit about her. I overheard whispers between my mother and father long ago. Why would the elders labor to keep such information secret? Uh, well, truth be told, we feared being persecuted anew. And so your greatest fears have come true. Pray, hide no longer, and tell Lady Frederica what you know. You know the history of Hyzant's oppression of the Roselle, yes? Then you know of the Roselle revolt that occurred 30 years ago. Your mother, Lady Orlea, led that uprising at the source. She led us to freedom from Hyzant's rule, here to the Wolfort Domain. She was a woman of great courage. She even left a sizable gash upon the goddess's statue as we departed. The statue that stands tall in the source. I've never heard tell of this gash. I reckon not. Hyzant would never admit to such a thing. But we, Roselle, know the truth. I had no idea my mother was involved with the revolt, let alone let it. And it was my father who gave them this land to settle. That he did. Lady Orlea, for her part, vowed to fight on, to liberate those who remained in Hyzant. The rest of us, battered and bruised in the escape, parted ways with her and remained here to live out our days in peace. And so she eventually found her way to Esfrost, where she was taken in. Thank you for sharing such a wonderful chapter of my mother's history. I hear she rallied the people to her cause with these words. The Holy State's teachings are false. 
the goddess's blessing spread across all Norzelia. The blessing of the true goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. How much of this have you heard? Hold. I beg you, recite those words once more. The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across all Norzelia. The blessing of the true Goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people. So there exists a key that gives the lie to the Goddess's teachings. With that in hand, we can yet confront Hyzant. Pray tell, good elder, what might it look like? Alas, I fear I do not know. I know not to what they were referring, but my parents always said Lady Orlea left it in this village. Then the key is here. Jerome, please. We would speak with your parents at once. I'm afraid that's not possible. They both passed many moons ago. We must find this key, Lord Serenella. I know it sounds like a fool's errand, but I feel we have no other choice. I agree. It is a slight hope, but hope nonetheless. Let the search begin.
Elder, for the sake of the Roselle, I've come to speak with you about the key. Lord Serenoa, I am not one to speak in metaphor and code. I bid you tell me precisely what it is you seek. Might this pink pelt be the key? Ah, uh, the pelt of a pink boar. I suppose you haven't encountered them near the castle or the harbor, but they are all around us here. Ah, my mistake. I am just an old man, Lord Serena. I assure you I know nothing of this key. So that wasn't the key. Perhaps I should ask the Elder about something else. Do you think this pink mirror could be the key? My word. The pink pattern suggests this mirror is quite old. Might it be an item mentioned in Rosellan legend? I never thought I'd see this again. It was a gift from my late wife. I scarcely recognized it without all the rust. Might this be the key? Nope, I can't say it is. But you'll never know how grateful I am that you found it. So that wasn't the key. Perhaps I should ask the Elder about something else. Could this pink rock be the key? Where did you find that? So it is the key. What do you know of it? Clearly I can deceive you no longer. I shall tell you everything. What is this strange pink rock? A simple taste shall tell you all you need to know. My word, it tastes of salt. No, it, it is salt. Truly, a rock of salt. Indeed, it is. And the story behind it is a long one. This crystal before you was brought here by Lady Olair. My mother brought this? And you knew of this the whole time, Elder? Yes, but the seeds of conflict ought not to be left in the sun where they are apt to grow. That was our decision. Are there any other crystals like this? There are. Lady Orlea spoke of a repository rife with salt, hidden somewhere in Norzelia. And where might that somewhere be? Unfortunately, I do not know. And I fear the knowledge passed with Lady Orlea herself. Do you know anything about this, Lady Frederica? Anything at all? Did your mother ever mention these crystals to you before? It is imperative that you remember. I apologize, but this is my first time hearing of them as well. Calm yourself, Benedict. You're scaring the lass. Calm myself? The very existence of this crystal changes the nature of our realm as we know it. If you have ever wondered why Hyzant oppresses the Roselle or confines them to the source, this is your answer. So they did it all to hide the existence of the repository and monopolize salt. And not just that, anyone who finds that repository could reign over all Norzelia. Would it really have so great an influence? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. 
It is one of Hyzant's fundamental beliefs, one that, due to their monopoly on both salt and the source, has appeared true all these years. But no longer. With this crystal alone, we can prove their doctrine false. Revealing their absolute teachings to be mere fabrications would shake Hyzant to its very core. There may be hope for us yet. A report, my lord. Hyzant's army is on the horizon. Lord Serenella, if you would, I should like to be the one to speak to them. Of course, Benedict. I leave the matter in your capable hands. Lord Saranoa, how unfortunate it is for us to meet under such circumstances. But for disobeying the Holy One's order, I must strike you down. Before that, Minister Exham, there is something we wish to show you. It is a mere fragment of something we have discovered in this village. It is a crystal made entirely of salt. What madness is this you speak? This is salt indeed. But how is this possible? It appears to have been passed down among the Roselle, and in a quantity large enough to rival the source. Unbelievable. Perhaps so, but we have proof. Salt can be found in places other than the sacred grounds beneath the goddess's feet. I am certain the implications do not escape you. What is it that you want? An audience with the Holy One, and a guarantee of safety for us and everyone in this village. It would be a waste to dispose of both the crystal and House Wolford here. Very well then. I shall secure you an audience with the Holy One. And you have my word that the village will be safe from harm. Thank you, Minister. Oh, how I wish I could see the Holy One's face contorted so. lives to this a crystal of salt or salt crystal shall we call it the holy state's teachings are false the goddess's blessings spread across all norsalia the blessings of the true goddess the blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind our people can you imagine if crystals like this were hidden beneath the surface of norsalia i cannot imagine hyzant being blind to their existence Salt is the lifeblood of their nation. Agreed. Which leads me to believe that they have relentlessly oppressed the Roselle to hide it. You intend to negotiate with the Holy One, then? Correct. This time, we shan't fail. Not with this salt crystal in our hands. Hyzant will swear its support to us. If their teachings are truly false, could you not ask them to free the Roselle at the source? That is a risk we cannot afford to take. Our first priority is rebuilding Woolfort. Without it, we cannot even hope to protect our own Rosellan village. I do hope you understand. I see. I suppose you are right. What will you do once granted those privileges, Benedict? What will I do? I tire of being made to decide like this time and time again. Don't you, Saranoa? I do. Our choices grow ever harder, each time piercing me deeper. It's time we decide what to do for ourselves. I wish to reclaim Glenbrook. With Hyzant beside us, we can defeat Asfrost. 
So when we meet, I will ask the Holy State to go to war with us. House Wolford protects the Roselle in defiance of the Holy One's orders. Hyzant sends an army to punish Wolford for their disobedience. Cornered though they may be, Serenoa and his comrades discover a crystal of salt hidden in the Rosellan village. Benedict leverages its very existence in negotiations with the opposing General Exum and succeeds. The crystal holds the power to change not only Hyzant, but the entire land of Norzelia. With it in hand, Sarah Noah goes to meet the Holy One. We granted you an audience because of Minister Exham's petition, but I did not expect you to show us this. A crystal made of salt. How very fascinating. It certainly does contradict the doctrine here in our blessed land. Or it would, were it real. Have you any proof that this was not created by magic or technology? Well... With all due respect, Minister, I have a question for you in return. What do you think of Esfrost and Glenbrook's decree to stop trade with Hyzant? I think it nothing more than a threat. Neither would last very long without our salt. Gustadoff is no fool. Such an edict would not come without proper countermeasures in place. Countermeasures such as another source of salt, for example. Having their own salt would make Hyzant's redundant at best, and your nation would soon find itself in dire straits without the salt tax's revenue. What is it you want from us? Your full support. Lend us your strength, and together we can defeat Esfrost, and Hyzant's ties to all nations will remain intact. You mean to start a war? The Kingdom of Glenbrook may be naught but a puppet now, but it was once your homeland. You understand this, yes? We do. Even so, my people do not wish for war. We must try to resolve this peacefully first. Do you think Gustav can be reasoned with? Need I remind you that it was he who invaded Glenbrook? He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Be that as it may, neither my people nor soldiers will accept it as a reason to go to war. Then I shall give you one. For I am the second son of King Regna. Roland Glenbrook. You live. There is no mistaking that face. So the prince lives to slay his kingdom's invader. We could not ask for a better reason. If you need a just cause to go to war, let it be me. We must stop Gustadolf. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Oh, Holy One, have you heard? Pray, tell me what you would have us do. It shall be done. Wolfort, Prince Roland, heed the words of the Holy One. The Holy State of Hyzant stands with you. The Holy One would see you defeat Esfrost and restore peace to Norzelia. Our nation shall spare no effort in your fight against Gustadolf. From this day forth, we support Prince Roland as our commander and Lord Serenoa as one of the saintly seven. Me? 
a saint. We are brethren now. We ride to war together. Well, would you look at that? We secured High Zant's support, and you even got yourself named one of the Saintly Seven. We also received a signed document stating the Roselle and Wolford are left in our care. Good going, lad. Oh, it is Benedict and Roland to whom we owe this victory. Everyone here has suffered so much on my behalf. My weakness and worthlessness have brought pain and misfortune to you all. And for that, I must apologize. You've got nothing to apologize for. I already told you. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. I've decided that I must press forward. Even if it means crawling forth on my hands and knees. I ask for your support as always. I know I will need it. And you shall have it. I am with you every step of the way, my lord. <sighs> Is something the matter, Federica? No. My apologies for worrying you. Now, to battle! We take back Glenbrook with our own hands! Salt crystal exam? No. Neither did I know of Prince Roland's survival. I thought he had perished. Likewise, what did you make of the Holy One's decree? Hyzant is a grand nation, but unfortunately not one blessed with a bountiful harvest of anything other than salt. Were we not able to trade, there is no doubt our nation would wither to naught. We've relied solely on salt for much too long, and that reality was made painfully clear to us. <laughs> Harsh words. But true nonetheless. Do you think we can triumph over Esfrost? Mark my words, Minister Camso. There is no fight Exham Marshal cannot win. The Holy One has ordered for us to deliver our Elfric to House Wolfort. And here I thought your research results to be top secret. What a curious turn of events. Perhaps the Hierophant determined it a good chance to test them in the field. They could easily sink in as frosty ship or two. And yet I see not a trace of a smile on you. I never wanted to build weapons for war. <laughs> Yet you don't think twice about toying with human life. How ironic. How dare you! Have a wonderful day. The audacity of Edor's dog. Are you certain it's wise to return to Esfrost alone, Your Grace? You are needed here. If Sikris's missive is to be believed, 
I'm afraid matters are far too grave to be left to anyone else. Svarog's deception is nearing its climax. His ill-gotten profits are being used to build a weapon of untold destructive power. Our anonymous source from the manufactory hinted at as much. Svarog is bold to have carried out his plan this far. Death Snell? What's that? Let the adults speak, my dear. If we're to be wed, then there should be trust between us. How long do you intend on treating me like a child? Very well. Tell her, Thallus. If you insist, brother, this weapon combines the powerful explosives developed by Dragan with Esfrost's mastery of steelcraft. Although yet to be tested, this cannon is said to have the power to breach even Hyzon's walls. The goddess's shield would buckle under a single blast. But the shield is impregnable. I have heard nothing of this. Do you think so little of your general? A general is to win me victory, as and when I command it. Svarog's intent isn't to bring Hyzant to heal, however. He means to use the cannon against Brother. But the fool was so blinded by ambition that he never saw the strings guiding his every deed. Fool that he may be, he served his purpose well. The cannon could not have been made without his engineers and Dragan's research. He will die secure in the knowledge that his bloodline contributed to the glory of Esfrost. Sadly. He shall not live to see his work completed. With it, we shall do what our forebears could not. The goddess's shield shall yield before Esfrost's might and ingenuity. If we can even approach the walls, brother, the trade embargo will ensure that Hyzant is especially wary of our actions. On the contrary, their focus will turn inward. With not else to leverage their influence with, they will take measures to see that none of their precious salt escapes their borders. There may be some gnashing of teeth, to be sure, but it will only be in an attempt to hide their inner turmoil. Erika, muster a force and march to the Hierophant's palace at once. Deliver to Hyzant my final demands. As you wish, brother. I shall gather what news I can of the Saintly Seven's machinations. Thallus, you will remain in Glenbrook. Conduct yourself as if I had never left. You hardly need to ask, brother. That is all. Now go. His own flesh and blood are but tools to be used and then discarded when their purpose is served. He has faith only in himself, such has ever been his way. <laughs> <laughs>